Hello. Undeniably so, I'm the number one Fujifilm GFX medium format fan in the world. I even have GFX tattooed on my hand. Um, here's the uh, Fujifilm's, that's not a secret plan. No one's made a video on this before. Fujifilm, as has been reported through uh, various outlets, including the rumor site, they're coming out with an ultra inexpensive um, GFX 50S Mark II. And I'm only guessing on the price, speculating it's going to be a sub $3,000 camera. Because currently the GFX 50R on sale is $3,500. It's going to use the same current uh, 51 megapixel sensor. And as I've said many hundreds of times, that sensor is the medium format equivalent of the sensor that's in the Nikon D4. You may not have shot with a Nikon D4, but the image output from that old camera is absolutely jaw-dropping incredible. So the notion of using an old sensor in this new camera coming out is ridiculous because if you've ever seen a high-res shot on like a 4K or 5K display, the images are just draw jaw-dropping. They're just incredible. Um, but right now, everybody knows that the camera market's in a big slump. Yes, we know that. But here's what's happening. The same thing happened when... Uh, uh, when the Nikon D3 hit, basically everybody with a half a brain said, uh, film is dead. And it is dead, even though people still use film. Film is dead. But the one thing that really didn't die, hasn't died quickly, is medium format film. The reason why large format film is dead, because the negatives are insanely, astronomically expensive. Medium format kept going hardcore strong for a long time, even once when film became dead. Um, digital isn't dying. Of course, everybody now has got a 12 plus megapixel sensor in their phone. We all know that it's convenient and fits in your pocket. So all the little point and shoot cameras, you know, those have all died. Those died several years ago. And uh, of course, with the camera market in a slump, the one thing that's still going strong is the same as when uh, film died, essentially, around the days of the Nikon D3, which is about when basically Everybody knew that film was essentially dead. Just as everybody now knows that DSLRs are essentially dead. Um, in the market that we currently have, Fujifilm made a uh, Nostradamus level prognostication of the future and they've done everything right and smart. And uh, now that the GFX 100S is out and I just got done reviewing that camera last week, I gave it my highest recommendation of any camera ever. And I've heard that Fujifilm has uh, been completely shocked off their heels at, you know, with what's going on in the world and, you know, repressed economies all over the world, that the sales of the GFX 100S are astronomically high. There is no surprise by me, nor should there be with you, that another GFX camera is coming out this year, a budget GFX camera. I mean, they're all extremely inexpensive. People say, well, it's expensive. There's a difference between expensive and a lot of money. All medium format camera has been a lot of money, relatively speaking, but GFX cameras are not expensive. They're not. For medium format, they're really, really freaking cheap. They are. That's not my opinion. It's just an absolute fact. So Fujifilm, you know, strike when the iron's hot is uh, making a move on medium format uh, even bolder than I thought that they would do. I've saw this coming for years, not the exactly what would happen, but I mean, my predictions have been 100% accurate. I told everybody when the first GFX camera came out, I said, listen, they're not making a new line to support, because there has to be a new line of lenses, which of course there is now and they continue to expand. They're not making it for just one camera. And then of course the second came along, the 50R, and then the GFX 100. And now we have the GFX 100S, okay? And here's the fifth camera coming. Is that fifth camera? Yeah, fifth camera. The GFX 50S Mark II. So that'll be five medium format cameras by sometime later this year that Fujifilm will have. Five. A budget one, you know, two ultra deluxe, and another uh, street sweeper. It's kind of what the 50R is. 50R is... 
my favorite camera of all time, period. The 50, the GFX 100S, of course, is way better in several fronts. This is undeniable. But I mean, you're talking about a, a $2,500, uh, depending on whether it's on sale or not, a $3,000 price difference, essentially, between those two cameras. Um, if you can't crucify the shot with 51 megapixels in medium format, you can't do it with 102 either. So, Fujifilm's bold move at really going big time medium format, like five medium format cameras by the end of 2021. That's not a surprise, but I think a lot of people, you know, maybe coming to the realization, it's like, who else out there? I mean, Fuji, Fujifilm literally owns the medium format market. When you use, uh, use or shoot, same thing, use and shoot, medium format, Let's be serious here. Anybody that's seen a full 600 megabyte, uh, depending on which camera, the 51 megapixel or the 102 megapixel on a GFX 100 or 100S, which are both the same sensor, you know, the TIFF file is absolutely astronomically huge. But if you look at it on a, a, a good display, the images are just unbelievable. It, just, it will spoil you rotten. Like... Um, I'm going to say Paris Hilton spoiled. It's like, you know, you've been living, eating caviar and uh, riding in Lamborghinis. Everything else, including BMWs and Mercedes, is just like, it's just like dog poo by comparison. You, you just, even luxury stuff, um, upper end luxury stuff is just junk. By, that's what medium format does. I'm trying to draw a nearly perfect analogy. But it is. Everybody will tell you when you use it, you will become spoiled frigging rotten. It's like, and I know medium format is not for hardcore sports action wildlife, and that's what I have this thing for, okay, the X-T4. But for 90% of everything else, depends on what you shoot, of course, obviously so. God, medium format just destroys everything else by comparison. It just does. I don't care what you have to say. It's an undeniable fact. You cannot look at a full-size TIFF file on a 4K or 5K 27-inch display, which this is not, but I have one in the back room back there an iMac 27-inch 5K. It's just unbelievable. You'll just be spoiled frigging rotten. Medium format always has been, including film, been future-proof. No electronic device is actually super future-proof. Um, the only things that are future-proof have big solid steel gears in them and no electronics, basically. You know, they're future-proof. They'll basically last you to the end of your life. But essentially future-proof. And, uh, you know, you put them to work for you, they will pay for themselves very quickly. Some people don't buy medium format to make it work for them. You know, they have some money, or they say, you know, this is my hobby, I'm going to splurge, I'm going to buy, you know, something really nice that I'm going to be essentially forever impressed on, on the image output. And it's impossible if you have like a GFX 100 or even a 50R to dial it forward 10 years and take an an image with uh, a medium format camera, the same camera as the GFX 50S, 50R, 100, whatever, and say, oh, you know, I, this, is, this isn't cutting it anymore. <laughs> People are not printing bigger prints than they really did, you know, 30, 40 years ago. There is not. Actually, people are printing less and smaller, so if you want to be totally honest, we need to be totally honest and speak frankly. So yes, when I say medium format is future-proof, that is borne out by facts and history. And uh, Fujifilm has made the right choices on going full bore medium format. And they really have made all the right choices. So that'll be five medium format GFX cameras for a Fujifilm lineup by sometime later this year, 2021. And uh, that is the wise choice. In a shrinking camera market, what dies off first is mediocrity. That means even full-frame DSLRs, like why, you know? Spend a few thousand bucks and get a medium format mirrorless. We'll do basically everything. And the reason why, too, when I uploaded the video sample, uh, 4K video sample, because um, one minute of 4K from the GFX 100S is uh, 4.3 gigabytes. So four gigabytes per minute. And the video is jaw-dropping. It's stunning. 
It's incredible. Am I saying that's the best video camera? Of course it's not. Stabilization of medium format, the smaller the sensor, the easier it is to stabilize. But still, you got that thing on a tripod or you got some, you know, put it on a gimbal. Oh my God, the video from that thing is just unbelievable. I only had to post up a one minute image sample, of a uh, one minute video sample for people to see that, so. There's Fujifilm's medium format domination plan for the camera market. And it's exactly what I've been telling people for years now. And who was right? Uncle Kenny was right. It's exactly true. Thanks. Goodbye.